All right, they're awesome. Live coming to you from Southern California here. It is a BEA beautiful day outside. It must be at least 85 degrees outside. Whoa, well, it is summertime. <laughs> My calendar says it's already July 13th. Monday, happy Monday, 2015, just up to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. How you doing? <laughs> I'm here Monday through Friday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Sunday morning's 10 a.m. If the rapture doesn't happen, I'll be here, usually. <laughs> if not, I'll let you know on my social media. Oh, if you're not on my social media, get on my social media. What are you talking about? Get on my Facebook. Get on my uh, Facebook pages, actually. Get on my Twitter. Don't be a twit. Get on my Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> get on my Google+. Plus. Uh, get on my live stream. Uh, get on my Instagram. I got Instagram. Get on my YouTube channel. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, one of these days, the Antichrist will shut down the internet. We might as well use it now. Uh, use it now or lose it. Actually, yeah, the Antichrist is very angry. Uh, the New World Order is very angry. <laughs> you won't like them when they're angry. Well, you don't like them when they're happy either. But <laughs> they're actually never really happy. They're just grumpy. Uh, grumpy sourpusses. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> Speaking about angry... Did you see how the uh, the New World Order, the uh, Vatican, oh, the false prophet, the New World Order wants Donald Trump dead. Did you see that today? Oh, I'm going to read that here in a moment. Trump gets threats. Oh, uh, linked, some say, to the drug lord that escaped from the prison recently. Did you see that? TMZ is talking about this. New York Post talking about it. It's all over the web. I, I said this yesterday. I didn't I say this yesterday? If you didn't see my video yesterday, I was talking about uh, some of the article headline headline news, and I, I mentioned Donald Trump, and I said, "Wow, that guy better watch his back." Uh, and at the, at, oh, as I watched, did you watch? I was going to say this in two things. I watched, and did you watch? There was a I think it was over an hour. Donald Trump did a speech. Uh, one was in Arizona. One was in Las Vegas. That's right. Okay. He's been doing a bunch of speeches because he's now running for the U.S. presidency, all right? Uh, anyways, I uploaded uh, or I uh, posted his two, uh, hour and ten minute speech or whatever. They're from uh, Las Vegas and very interesting. And uh, I usually don't... Uh, people usually bore me. Let me say it this way. People usually bore me. Yeah, and it's like I can't stand usually... Five minutes, ten minutes max of, of you know somebody's video because it's usually like blah, 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 boring, you know. But I I can say that I watched almost the entire Donald Trump speech. I haven't seen somebody in politics for a long time. Uh, I mean, uh, talk like that, talk like Donald Trump. Now I know he's not Jesus. Hello, did I say he was Jesus? Uh, I, I like listening to people like uh, Ron Paul when he does his speeches. Very intelligent, knows what he's talking about. He's not full of BS. Oh, all right. But there's something uh, genuine. Is that, is that the word to use? Genuine? About when Donald Trump is talking. He just goes off and tells you things behind the scenes. <laughs> Which is very refreshing. All right, and he says things that you shouldn't say, according to the New World Order. Oh, he'll say things that you don't want to hear. Oh, my Lord. That's what kept me interested. I talk like that. I talk like, boom, 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 the way it is. All right, yeah, I try to be like that 24-7. I hate not being like that. I always try to be honest 24-7. <laughs> and I like talking like that. So he caught my attention by the speech or the speeches. And I've heard him before. I've seen him on The Apprentice, you know, how he does the television show. I've seen him try to dig up the information about Obama in the past, about the birth certificate. Rah, rah, simbu, ba, whatever. That, you know, that's great. I love it. Somebody has to, you know, and now uh, he's, you know, spends hours talking about things uh, the New World Order doesn't want him to talk about. And I said this yesterday. I go with the birth certificate. Ra ra simbu ba whatever that you know that's great I love it. Somebody has to you know and now uh, he's you know spends hours talking about things uh, the New World Order doesn't want him to talk about. And I said this yesterday. I go back and listen to my video. It's right here on live stream. I have nearly a thousand videos <laughs> on YouTube that I've done. I'm not talking about other people. I've done about a thousand videos already. Actually, it's over a thousand videos. Yeah. I only have uh, recorded there. I had about a hundred videos 
that just disappeared off of off of YouTube one year. Anyways, won't get into that, but I've done over a thousand videos. But if you go to my YouTube channel, DarylLawsonLive.com, click on my YouTube channel, my live stream. Live stream, I have about 500 videos on YouTube, my YouTube channel. I have uh, nearly a thousand. Anyways, yesterday's video, I was talking about why would God allow the Antichrist to continue in these last days. Oh, I'm telling you, if you didn't watch yesterday's video on, on live stream here, Daryl Lawson Live on live stream, you can just click later on right down underneath this video, and you can see uh, that video. And in there I talked about, which is today's date is the 13th, July 13th, 2015. Yesterday, of course, was one day earlier, the 12th of July. And why, why would God allow the Antichrist to continue? Oh, that's some heavy revy in there. I tell you that right now. But in there I mentioned uh, 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 some of the headline news near the end of the video. And uh, I'm telling you, I mentioned about... Donald Trump, I said, he better watch his back. Uh, I know what they do. The devil comes to steal, kill, up, and destroy. That's what the New World Order does, all right? And so the Vatican, which I happened to glance over Revelation 18 again. And you know that Revelation chapter 18 and Revelation 17 talk about the Vatican? I I'm telling you. I do verse by verse talks about these chapters a, a lot. And I was looking at Revelation 18 because I, a few days ago I, I went through the whole uh, chapter of Revelation 17 talking about the Vatican and how uh, she creates Frankensteins and then they go rogue. Watch my video on, on that as well. Russia and China, you know, Frankensteins uh, uh, of the Vatican and they've gone rogue. I watched that, watch that, all right? Because I go through uh, every verse of Revelation chapter 17 about the Vatican. And then if you wanted to continue, you could go to Revelation 18. And the whole chapter there is about the Vatican. Whoa! Who is... Uh, uh, it, or, or, or who... Uh, it's the corporation. The Vatican is the corporation of the false prophet. It's the richest corporation on the earth. Now, I, I, I just said, said this a few minutes ago. The Vatican wants Donald Trump dead. Bye-bye. I, didn't I say that? What did they do to JFK? Oh, go, go, bye-bye. Right, the U.S. presidents know. There, there is a knowing. Every president since JFK, U.S. president, all right? And the presidents have known all the way back to, well, probably the beginning, you know, 240-what years now? Uh, but surely Abraham Lincoln and then JFK and every president, every U.S. president knows that they can't say what they want to say. They can't do what they know they should do. And they know if they say and do things that the Vatican doesn't like, they go bye-bye. Who do you think shot JFK? The, the Jesuits shot and killed uh, the U.S. President John Kennedy. Oh, no, yes. Look that up. Do your own research. I, I, I I'll talk about that as, as much as I can, as I, as I think of it, and I, 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 I remember it. Who do you think? You know, it wasn't some little guy with a little pop gun that didn't even hardly work up in some kind of window there in some kind of old building. No, 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 no. The Vatican, who controls the U.S. government. The Vatican, who controls the CIA. I was watching a... Uh, I did 15 miles on the bike this morning. And uh, I was watching a Netflix movie, because I'm sitting there, and uh, I got my praying done, all right? So I always make sure, always make sure, get your re Bible reading done, get your praying done before the day starts, right? If you can. Or may, not if you can, make sure you do that, right? And then everything else can be added later on, yeah. So I, I was looking at the uh, movie that came out, uh, I guess, a few years ago now. It was called uh, Jack Ryan. Uh, 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 what was it, what was it? Uh, CIA Recruit? Is that what they call it? Jack Ryan? Whatever. CIA Recruit, Shadow Recruit, whatever. And anyways, you got uh, the whole movie. If you go back and look at it, the, the, the new one that came out with the guy that did, what was it, uh, the new Star Trek movie. You know, the main guy in there, whatever their names are, whatever. <laughs> as long as I remember the name of Jesus, I'm fine. <laughs> the guy that did uh, Field of Dreams is in there. What's that guy's name? You know who I'm talking about. 
and the new Star Trek uh, uh, guy. Yeah, anyways, there is uh, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruit. Oh, is that what it is? I think that's what it is, yeah. Anyway, it's all about the CIA. It's very interesting because now that you, uh, oh, if you watch it uh, now, when it first came out, I think it came out in, in, in January, was it of last year? And I, may, I wanted to go see it, I wanted to go see it, and, and uh, I watched it again, well, at least half of it or an hour's worth because it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to bike this morning. <clears throat> Anyways, and as I was watching it, it, it basically talks about how the, uh, well, the New World Order, the Vatican is prophesying in that movie about the, uh, well, the attack of the New World Order against Russia and China. If you go, if you've never watched the Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit, uh, or whatever I said, <laughs> uh, go, uh, uh, you know, uh, and watch it. It's pretty clean. I think it's pretty clean. There's some shooting scenes or whatever in there, but it's talking about everything that's going on right now in politics. It's talking about the, the attack against Russia and the ch attack of China and the USA and the stock markets and the price of oil. Now, of course, they spin it and, and the good guys uh, are, are bad guys and the bad guys are good guys. That's what the New World Order does. But in, 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 the, in, the, in the songs, the movies, the books, the television programs, the New World Order, the Vatican, always spews, prophesies what they're going to do. They always brag. They always, and it's really more than that. It's mind control, getting people prepared. And that's why so many people today believe uh, the opposite, or, or, or walking, or the opposite of truth, or they're walking in deception. It's because the, the Hollywood, the New World Order media spews out their plans backwards in the media ahead of time so when it finally does hit the papers everybody uh, believes what the movies have been telling them for a year or two years or whatever yeah very high sophisticated brainwashing to be honest with you cheers tea time whoa whoa apple cider vinegar in there whoa Lovely. <laughs> Anyways, so the whole Jack Ryan shadow recruit there, whatever it's called, is all about the manipulation of the stock markets, getting people mind control prepared uh, uh, to walk in the deception because it's it's actually happening uh, 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 right now, but the movie has it backwards. It's a deception. So of course they put that out there in, in the cartoons. They put it out in the music, the the the, the top selling New York bestsellers list. The magazines, the the commercials, so that when you when it, when they finally bring it to pass, uh, people believe the deception because it's it, it, it has it has already been in the media, uh, yeah, and the movies for years. And if you go back and if you never watched it or if you've watched it, if you go back and watch that movie. It's exactly what's happening right now, but it's it's a it's a twist. The, the, the good guys in the movie are really the bad guys. The bad guys in the movies are really the good guys. Oh, anyway, speaking about that and bringing that in right now, when I saw the headlines about Donald Trump and I saw what he said yesterday uh, or over the weekend uh, and how he's just saying things uh, like, like most people think, but you don't hear that from politicians because politicians always lie. Now, am I saying that Donald Trump never lied? Listen, everybody lies. Everybody has lied. Everybody has sinned, the Bible says. But to see his speech and hear it, it's so refreshing because he's actually telling you what's happening behind the scenes, which you hardly ever hear. He tells you what's happening in the media. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I saw the headlines, as you saw the headlines, how that, you know, you see headlines about Donald Trump loses uh, this contract, this contract, that con Anyways, he talks about it, and it's not exactly... Well, it's the opposite of what the, uh, the, the what the news media talks about, and it's so refreshing to hear what's really going on. All right, and how uh, they're trying to uh, you know drag his name through the mud and all that. And that's a, that's a that's a direct sign. Donald Trump getting his butt kicked by the New World Order's media is a is a direct sign that he's hitting the target. Oh yeah, oh it hurts. They're, he's hitting a nerve. Oh, he can't stand it. He's talking about trade deals. He's talking about, what did he talk about in his speech? He said, you know, he says America is getting ripped off with the trade deals. Now, everybody should know that for years. 
Uh, big companies, uh, big uh, uh, factories are being shipped overseas to China, Mexico, and everywhere except the USA. Why? Well, the, 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 the bottom line is, is to make the USA weak. The USA has always been in the way of the New World Order. Since its foundation, hello, Declaration of Independence, it's always been fighting the New World Order. Now it's its president is the leader of the New World Order, which is a shame, but that always happens, right? You always have a Judas, right? And one of the one of the twelve apostles always becomes a Judas. Yeah. Anyways, so to to hear you know Donald Trump coming out and saying you know the trade deals that have been made and are being made by the U.S. president are bad for the USA. Hello, everybody knows that, but nobody ever says that. The way he said it yesterday and over the weekend. I thought, whoa, you're going to get your butt kicked. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm not saying this in, in unbelief. I'm just saying I know what the New World Order does. Now, I hope he's born again spirit-filled. And I hope the blood of Jesus is upon him because he is going to die without the help of Jesus. I'm telling you, they're going to get him. Look at Revelation 18, verse 24. Talking about the Vatican. And in the Vatican was found the blood, <laughs> the murder of the prophets and of the saints and of all that were slain upon the earth. Whoa, not just, uh, I said this the other day, the Vatican is behind ISIS. Who do you think pays ISIS? The Vatican is behind Al-Qaeda. Who, who do you think pays Al-Qaeda? Which is the same uh, uh, basic operation mercenaries. Uh, uh, the Vatican pays the Muslim Brotherhood to do what they do. The Vatican pays the, the world, the, the New World Order media. Who do you think pays these failing news uh, 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 centers? ABC fails in their news. CBS, CNN, etc., etc. Who do you think pays, continues to pay their salaries to keep them alive? The Vatican does that. Because uh, people aren't watching them much anymore at all. Hello? <laughs> who, do you, who do you think uh, is beheading the people around the world? It says it right here. This is why I'm so adamant. I'm so in the know about what's going to happen to, to Donald Trump if he's not careful. They're going to get him. The Vatican is going to kill Donald Trump if he continues. Yeah. One way or another, he go bye-bye. Well, they're going to try anyway. Now, only God knows if they're going to succeed. Let me say it like that, because Revelation 18.24 says it plainly. And in the Vatican, in her was found the blood, the murder of the prophets. Hello? Oh, he just had a heart attack. He just died. You know, I'll say this. <clears throat> now, I don't usually mention preachers uh, because a lot of them on the earth right now are really boring and really paid off to, and really scared to talk, right? Yeah. And they're really just caught up in the New World Order. Most, even, and I'm talking about in Christianity. It's just like, boring, I don't want to hear you. Don't talk to the hand. I don't want to hear you. Boring, lifeless, uh, useless. Uh, the Antichrist is in the White House. The false prophet is over the Vatican. And you're talking about twinkle toe stuff. I mean, what the hell is going on with the Christian church? But my God, shut up. <laughs> Close the doors. Get in your prayer closets and pray. You're wasting your time. Anyways. <laughs> well, I, I, I just, I just made, well, because I know what's happening. The reason why there's so many weak, wimpy, whiny, uh, backslidden, uh, doorknobbish, dorky, weirdo Christians around is because their leadership is like that. They don't know their heads from their butts. It's, 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 it's amazing. It's just like, what the? What's going on? And I realize it's the leadership. You guys are a bunch of pansies. You guys are a bunch of girly men. Whoa! <laughs> okay, what was I talking about? Oh, Revelation 8, 24. And in, in the Vatican was found the blood of the prophets and of the saints. There you go. See, and, and, it doesn't just say, just, oh, see, I'm talking about the prophet, the ministry, the ministry. Oh, so, the, the, uh, here, th thank you, Holy Spirit, <laughs> for reminding me. Years ago, 
I remember, I don't know what, when this was, uh, the exact years, but I remember Jimmy Swaggart. Do you remember Jimmy Swaggart? He's still, he's still on television. He's still, I mean, you, uh, uh, man, I mean, just, I'm not even going to go there because it'll, it'll just lead me on another tangent in this direction over here. But I remember uh, years ago when Jimmy Swaggart came out and he started to attack uh, the false doctrine of the Vatican. I'm telling you, like nobody else, no, there was nobody else really quite like him that was well known, that was actually exposing the darkness, the the sins, the anti-biblical behavior, the 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 wow, the false prophet, the antichrist spirit of the Vatican. And right after that, I, I was thinking about this today or yesterday. Just right after that. Uh, 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 Swagger gets in the news that he was, you know, walking with some kind of hooker somewhere, blah, 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 blah. Listen, you don't think, all right, that the Vatican is not going to send some honeypot. You know what a honeypot is? Yeah, it's a woman. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a trap. Now, it comes in many forms. Sometimes it's money, sometimes it's women, some, whatever. And they send uh, this attack, and, and spiritually, and, and they get their witchcraft going, and this, that, and the other. And I remember this. Was it a coincidence that just at the height of when Swaggart was blasting uh, the false doctrine of the Roman Catholic cult, that he got somehow exposed and caught with this uh, honey trap, with this woman, this hooker? And I thought, whoa, they sure went, I, 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 I'm, you know, I, I didn't ask him, I didn't talk to him about it, but I'm telling you, if there's any corporation, any kind of wheeling and dealings behind the scenes to trap and bring down people, politicians, leaders, religious leaders, whatever, it's it's the Vatican. It's the Vatican, I'm telling you. And I think, I thought myself, to myself, you know, is that a coincidence? Just at the, I remember he did a, 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 a magazine article or a, a, a series called A Letter to My Catholic Friends. I'm telling you, it exposed the, the false praying to Mary, all this stuff. And shortly after there, boom, he was hit with a sledgehammer. Whoa, and it's a miracle that he actually, you know, didn't kill himself or get killed or, or actually totally fold up. That's kind of how you know that there's, that there's truth inside somebody. Like a David. David goes, you know, off the deep end, goes after Bathsheba. I mean, what if, you know, what, 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 what it, how can I even, uh, even say this properly? Would, would it have been better if King David went after a hooker? But he went after a married woman. All right, but do we throw out the, the book of Psalms? Oh, do we throw out the writings of David? No, we don't. We understand that men and and women and people are are weak. <laughs> and if you don't pray every day, stay in the Word. You're yeah, stay, and, and stay in the Holy Spirit. You're gonna you're gonna fry. You're, you're gonna you're gonna give in to the temptations and just be crushed. Yeah. <laughs> there is a new television series out. I think on AMC called uh, what the, what do they call it? Humans. Whoa. I'm not recommending it, but it's a, it's a new television series that just came out where it's a uh, a, a society field or, or or the technology of bringing robots into society is 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 where the television program is is uh, is going. Where the you know I think it's it's in is it it seems like it's in London. <clears throat> Anyways, the UK. And uh, they're showing how the world is being flooded with robots, you know, to do the laundry. And they're very human-like. I mean, they just look like a human. Their eyes are a little different. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I won't get into all the things, but you know where I'm going. I mean, it's like, hello. Uh, okay, but, you know, okay. Anyways, uh, I'm thinking about temptations because uh, 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 women are, are, are even tempted in the show with robots. Men are tempted with robots. I mean, that's how weak, weak humans are. <laughs> well, we see it today. People want to marry cows. People want to, you know, it's like, uh, whoa, the flesh is crazy by itself. 
The flesh has to be controlled. And about one of the gifts and fruits of, well, the fruit of the Spirit is uh, self-control. If you don't, if you're not led by the Spirit, you go out of control. Self-control. Uh, oh, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentle, gentleness, meekness, faithfulness, uh, goodness, temperance, self-control. The fruits of the Spirit. If you don't have the Holy Spirit living inside of you, guiding you, uh, you will go bananas. And everybody goes bananas without the Holy Spirit. So don't tell me that people are oh so great because nobody's great jesus said there's nobody good but god and if god doesn't live in you by jesus by the power of the holy spirit you cannot live good you're crazy and you'll live crazy you may act like you don't crazy but behind the scenes you're all crazy and we all know that right yeah if it's not for the blood of jesus the name of jesus the word of jesus the power of the holy spirit and his help we're all nuts. We're all crazy. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Donald Trump is in the... Uh, uh, listen, I'll go through this article right here. In her was found the blood of the prophets, the blood of, of the people that speak for the God over the years. They just kill them. Bye-bye. They kill presidents. They kill uh, uh, religious people. Who do you, who do you think uh, 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 killed Martin Luther King Jr.? Oh, you thought that was a racial thing. Oh, the Jesuits killed Martin Luther King Jr. Bye-bye. Yeah, of course they did. Who killed uh, Kennedy's brother? Of course the Jesuits did. The Vatican did. And in the Vatican was found the blood of the prophets, the blood of the saints, people of God. So the leadership, the people, and of all. all and... and, and Revelation 18.24, and continuing, by the way, explaining more, and of all that were slain or killed upon the earth. What? Hello? So that means the wars that are going on right now? That means the drone strikes? You're talking about, and this has been going on for a long time. This has been going on for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, thousands of years. And in her was found who kills the prophets? The Vatican. Who kills the, the, the Christian? The Vatican. Same today. And of all that were killed upon the earth, who killed JFK? Bye bye. And of all, and of all, and of all that were slain upon the earth. Bingo! Boobo! There you go. So when I read headings like this, I, I, I said this yesterday, I, you know, I could just see it in my spirit. I could just see it that, you know what? And then I listened to Trump yesterday. I thought, uh-oh. Uh-oh! Even Elijah. I mean, man, if you want to, you know, read the Bible scriptures and the stories about Elijah. I mean, he he spoke it like it was. They didn't like him. Jezebel, Ahab, oh, the king, the government, they did not like, oh, they went to kill him. Now, kill him. You know, kill him. <laughs> and he, I mean, he, he had the power of God and he got beat up pretty good in the spiritual realm. He didn't even want to live. And you know what God did? God delivered him. With a chariot to heaven. Hello. It's, it, that, you know, the, the, the story of Elijah is symbolic, is, is prophetic, is a prophecy story of, of the Antichrist today and the false prophet, uh, the Vatican and Obama trying to kill Christians today. And just before they implement their total plan of killing God's people in these last days, oh, we get taken to heaven. Yeah. All right, yeah, so I'm, I'm telling you, can you see that in the scriptures? I can. It's over and over, especially in the story of Elijah. Here it is by uh, New York Post and also by TMZ. Donald Trump gets threat linked to escaped Mexican drug lord. Oh, I wonder who, who, uh, who runs the drug, uh, the, the drug mafia around the world. Who runs the drugs around the world? The number one pusher drug cartel in the world. Is who? You'd mentioned some kind of Mexican drug or whatever. 
No, 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 no. They're run by all the drug cartels around the world are, are run by one kingpin. Who is it? It's the Vatican. So uh, it's not it's not surprising to me, and to, sh shouldn't be to anybody, that Trump gets a threat linked to escape Mexican drug lord. Who controls the Mexican drug lords? And the, and the, and the U.S. drug lords? And the Canadian drug lords? And the U.K. drug lords? Who runs them all? V V Vatican, Vendetta Vatican, yeah. They're the biggest mafia on the earth. They run them all. So when I read this, Trump gets threat, death threat, linked to escaped Mexican drug lord. Oh, oh, how, how oh, oh, the Mexican, you know, they would love, let me say, say, say it this way. The Vatican would love to see Donald Trump dead by and have the excuse fall on some uh, drug cartel, Mexican drug cartel, because he was talking about the Mexican people. All right. Now he said he loves the Mexican people. You don't hear that in the news much. He said he doesn't like the trade deals that are ripping off the U.S. by Mexico or Japan or anywhere else or China. And so the Vatican, of course, not going to say hi. It's it's me. We're going to get them. No, they're they're going to use their drug cartels, their hitmen around the world to take them out. They're going to try it now. Will, will they succeed? God only knows, really. It says Donald Trump's got a real hit out, hit out on him now. Trump gets threat linked to escape Mexican drug lord. Number one, how did how'd the guy escape? Well, the U.S. CIA, the CIA, I was going to say the U.S., but they're around the world. They're, they're, they're a foreign government run by the CIA. I mean, the, the CIA is a foreign government run by the Vatican in the USA and around the world. And the CIA basically controls the drugs around the world, you know, for the Vatican. How did the, how did this how did the drug cartels how did this uh, uh, boss get out? How did he escape? Oh, he escaped. Yeah, sure he did. <laughs> Perfect timing for Donald Trump, isn't it? Oh yeah, he escaped. The presidential hopeful called the FBI today to investigate threats against him on Twitter by the son of Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. <laughs> Say that ten times. The infamous Mexican drug kingpin who escaped for a second time over the weekend. Oh, oh, perfect timing. Listen, all the prisons are a scam. The prisons are, are, are basically uh, run by private organizations that are front company organizations for the Vatican. Yeah, the Vatican has slaves. And they're called prisons, or prisoners, yeah. That's why they, they enact so many laws that people just can't keep up to all the laws. And people go to prison for the smallest of things now. It's crazy. I think the U.S. has the record for the most people incarcerated in the world. Yeah. The land of the free, home of the brave, yes! The infamous Mexican drug, ping, uh, drug kingpin who escaped prison for a second time over the weekend. Keep uh, bleeping around. This is the tweet, right? I mean, how can somebody tweet this? Anyways, keep uh, bleeping around and I'm going to make you swallow your bleep words, you bleep King Whitey, blah, 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 tweeted El Chapo o Guzman, an account reportedly run by the drug lord's son, Ivan. Ivan the Terrible, whatever. Who, who runs them? Who tells them what to do? The Vatican does. All right. Hello. I have you a, a, a uh, an offer you can't refuse type thing, and they have to do it. It says here, the attack written in Spanish against uh, 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 Donald Trump was a smoldering rebuttal to Trump's Twitter rant on Sunday about Guzman's escape. Uh, quote, can you envision Jeb Bush or Hillary Clinton negotiating with El Chapo? Is that how you say his name? The Mexican drug lord escaped from prison. He wrote, Trump, however, would kick his ass. That's what he said. <laughs> he wrote, Trump, however, would kick his ass. Well, you're, you're dealing with the Vatican here, Trump. Now, this is something where you have to be careful. Uh, if, if the New World Order, if the Vatican will kill U.S. presidents, they'll kill anybody. And they do. And they have. 
Unless God Almighty, His blood, His spirit, His word, His angels are protecting you 24-7, you're in trouble. The U.S. will invite El Chapo, the Mexican drug lord who just escaped prison, to become a U.S. citizen because our leaders can't say no, Trump tweeted. Ho, ho, ho! Yikes! Now, I'm telling you, he's kicking the New World Order in the chops, right? Yeah, Trump is, right? But you have to remember that the fallen angels back the Vatican. The fallen angels back Obama. The fallen angels back the Pope. And if you don't have bigger angels than their angels, you're in trouble. I'm telling I don't care if you have a billion dollars. Trump is going to give out his, uh, his financial reports this week, I think, uh, one, one, one day this week. And he probably has hundreds of millions, if not billions, probably billions of dollars. Uh, that compared to the unlimited, unlimited, you can't even count the money that the Vatican has. Uh, you, their, their property is just unlimited. The, 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 the wealth of just their paintings, of just their art, is, un, is, is, is priceless. And so, never mind how much gold, they have the most gold on the planet. They have, they have the, the, the most yen, the U.S. dollar, the Canadian dollar, the peso, the euro. They have the most of every currency in warehouses as far as your eye can see. They control the, the media. They control the U.S. presidency. They control the CIA. They control the FBI. They control... Hello? They're run by the fallen angels. That's what I'm saying. It's dangerous for him. Now, Trump, now I love his, his candor. I love his openness. But, uh-oh, you never see... I've never seen someone quite like this open up. And that is a recipe for an assassination. It is. Now he's gone to uh, he's gone to the FBI. Ha 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 ha! Oh ho ho! Now I'm sure there's good people in the FBI. Still, you know, not that many. And, and, and maybe there's a handful in the CIA somewhere. But you don't get promoted in these organizations unless you're crooks, right? You, you just know that, all right? Because if they don't own you, then you're not promoted. If you're not as corrupt as they are, so they can blackmail you and tell you what to do, then you're not promoted. They, they, you're dangerous. You're you're rogue. You no no no. They they'll never trust you. I'm talking about the FBI, CIA, whatever politics, governments here and around the world. Yeah. Now it talks about now the embattled Trump who lost those slew of supporters in June following his racist remarks on Mexicans living in America. <laughs> Actually, when I saw there was a lot of Mexican people there at the rally for for him yesterday. Yeah, and over the weekend. Now, of course, this is New York Post, and they always slant it, and always good is bad, and bad is good, whatever. And and uh, what did he say? Trump said he would not be silenced by these threats. So <laughs> you better have some big angels around you. Uh, Trump goes on to say, I'm fighting for much more than myself. He said, I'm fighting for the future of our country, which is being overrun by criminals. Hello? But, you know, it's it's more than that. The criminals are already in, in the presidency. The Antichrist. The criminals, the biggest criminals on the earth are the U.S. president and the Pope. <laughs> the Antichrist and the false prophet. <laughs> so, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I'd love to see. I'd love to see Donald Trump as be a U.S. president. He'd kick butt. It could, it's not going to happen. He's not going to be allowed in. And and if he doesn't get the protection and miracles of God, he's not going to be alive for very much longer. And they're all going to blame it on ISIS. They're going to blame it on some kind of Mexican cartel. But we know who did it. All right. If it does happen, God forbid. Revelation eighteen twenty four. And in her, in the Vatican, was found the blood of the prophets. Hello, they, they kill the ministries. We'll take you off the air. We'll shut you down. We'll cut your book deals off. We'll 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 bring honey pots to you. Honey traps. Uh, the blood of the of the ministries, blood of the saints around the world, not just in the USA, but around the world. And of all, and of all, and of all, this is even non Christians. This is, this is political presidents, leaders. These, these are kings. These are even popes. Popes are killed by the Vatican themselves. The Vatican kills its own popes. Well, duh. You go to the Vatican and you see on the walls, you see uh, pictures of all the popes. Some of the pictures are missing. 
<laughs> because they were evil, apparently. <laughs> well, duh. And they'll tell you. It's easy to find out the popes that were, that were murdered by the Vatican themselves. I mean, yeah, they don't do what they want, and they try to do something good. You go bye-bye. You get poisoned, or, or whatever. In the Vatican was found the blood of the prophets, of saints, and of all, and of all, and I hope this is not about Trump, but I know the Vatican has put a hit out on Donald Trump. The Vatican has put a hit out on Donald Trump. And of all that were slain upon the earth, I mean, of all, and of all, somehow they're in it. Somehow they're behind it. Somehow they're wiggling through it. That were slain upon the earth. Now, I'm talking about the end times. I'm not talking about back uh, when Cain killed Abel. The Vatican did it. Well, the Vatican wasn't around. I'm talking about modern day history. I'm talking about hundreds of, of, of years now in, in these last days. And maybe even, uh, you could even say, a th thousands of years Vatican uh, they claim to be you know have existed you know Peter on well that's Peter wasn't the first Pope God help us all Peter was the farthest uh, uh, the opposite uh, uh, of, the, of the Vatican Roman Catholic Church if you read Peter's writings it's totally anti uh, uh, Roman Catholicism hello people wanted to Kiss his feet, kiss his... He said, I'm a man, stand up. You don't hear that too often. Kiss my hand, kiss my butt. Whatever they say, it's ridiculous. And of all that were slain upon the earth, Revelation 18, 24. So I am saying that there is a hit that the Vatican has now put out on Donald Trump. Here's the uh, Twitter. Uh, well, if you look at NewYorkPost.com or on the web, you can find the Twitter that Donald Trump put out. Donald J. Trump, DJT. Uh, at real Donald Trump uh, at Twitter. The U.S. will invite El Chapo, the Mexican drug lord who just escaped prison to become a U.S. citizen because our leaders can't say no. Whoa, that was actually yesterday at 9.05 p.m. last night. Whoa! Guzman escaped from Al Altiplano Jail. And I said Altiplano Jail, Mexico's most secure prison. Oh, yeah, most secure. Okay, yeah. On Saturday, through his sh cell's shower, which had a 20-inch hole carved in it that allowed him to walk through a small tunnel that leads outside the jail. Hello, can you say Vatican? Yeah, the Twitter the Twitter account linked uh, the Twitter account linked to his son, which became very active Sunday evening, also took aim at Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto. Is that how you say that? Well, there you go. So I, I in the show picture of El Chapo right there, and I'm just saying, you know, they they hide in the darkness, they hide underneath the, you know, under the walls, and they go underneath. And I'm talking about the Vatican. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, it wasn't us. It's ISIS. Oh, it wasn't us. It was some guy. Uh, it was it was Osama bin Laden. It wasn't us. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think paid Osama bin Laden? <laughs> Who do you think did the videos for him? All right. Who do you think put him, uh, when he was sick, put him in the CIA hospitals? Tim Osman, the Vatican did it. Just Tim Osman worked for the CIA, worked for the Vatican. All right, there you go. And he was just a, he was just a mouthpiece. He was just a boogeyman. Uh, who, who do you think financed 9-11 of all that were slain upon the earth? Is that not, is that the Bible or is that New York Post? New York, you know, New York Post isn't the Bible. I don't. I read read the articles, and you have to eat the chicken and spit the bones out when it comes to TMZ or New York Post or whatever, ABC or whatever CNN or articles. Uh, but in the Bible, it's all good. Oh, it's all good meat. Yeah. <laughs> Here's one right here from uh, TMZ website. Donald Trump tells TMZ he is contacting the FBI. Oh yeah. You might as well just contact the Vatican. Hello, Vatican. Uh, can you protect me <laughs> from your mercenaries? <laughs> I mean, you think about it. I mean, it, it, it's it, it's it would be funny if it wasn't. It, it would be really funny if it wasn't true, right? But it's true, and it's still kind of funny, anyways. But it's really bizarre. Donald Trump tells TMZ uh, media he is contacting the FBI. <laughs> now, of course, there's some good people in the FBI still. Uh, 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 there's a remnant. There's, there's, there's a small amount of group compared to the whole. 
to investigate threats just made by a man claiming to be the son of escaped Mexican drug lord El Chapo. Trump is reach, uh, reacting. Trump is reacting to a tweet reportedly made by the Sun, uh, in which he blasts Trump for saying El Chapo was everything that's wrong with Mexico. Well, he's a drug lord. All right. Hello. The tweet was written in Spanish uh, with the rough English translation. Keep bleeping around. Blah, blah. I read that to you. Okay. Trump tells TMZ he's not backing down. Okay. Whoa. Sam, fighting for much more than myself. I'm fighting for the future of our country, which is being overrun by criminals. It's true. He adds, you can't be intimidated. You can't be intimidated. It's too important. All right. But don't forget. I mean, this is this has got this has gotten real. I mean, this, this is real. I mean, this is uh, why is there so many cameras? Why why is it just everywhere now? But what Trump's doing? Because Trump is just going forward, and uh, and I know, I, I, and it's not. Listen, this is not. You know, the Bible is the is, is a is a book for all people. The Bible, there is no, the Bible says there is no favoritism with God. God loves everybody equal. All right, so this is what I love about Jesus. I love this about the Holy Spirit, love God the Father, is that he has, the Bible says God is not partial. God has no favorites. He loves all people equally on the earth. Now, there is judgment against people that do evil. The wages of sin is death. Uh, there is a judgment day when the books will be opened and everybody will be judged according to the things that are written therein, their actions. Unless you have your, unless you get born again spirit-filled, Jesus, wash my sins away. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, it's erased from those books, and you won't be judged according to your sins. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I mean, is that not the greatest message in uh, ever in history? There's no religion anywhere that comes close to what Jesus offers the, the humanity. You, you name any religions. No way, Jose. Speaking about Mexico, Jose. <laughs> There is no comparison with Jesus and any other religion. All right, none, zero. Everybody's trying to make some deals and this, that, and the other, and deal with their sins and deal with getting better and dealing with blah, 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 whatever. Not, no religion compared to Jesus, you can't even compare it. It's not even, it's not, it's not even able to be compared because Jesus blows them all away because Jesus is the light. Jesus is the truth. His, his contract his offers are the best <laughs> why go anywhere else <laughs> come to jesus is a car lot he's got the best deals everywhere i'm telling you bring your clunkers in and jesus will give you a great deal <laughs> for this weekend only <laughs> well you know what i'm saying <laughs> i love it so i'm saying when i, when I look at these scriptures i thought uh oh pray for him of course like I said, I, I, there is no way in, the, in this late hour before the return of Jesus that Donald Trump would ever, 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 ever be president. It's not going to happen. Now, we're down the rabbit hole too far. The election uh, computers are all rigged. The Vatican controls the CIA, the FBI, the United States government, and the military. So uh, put all those pieces together, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and tell me. Now, if we were back in the 1700s and 1800, maybe. Yeah, probably. Yeah, Donald Trump would get it. All right, 100 years ago, over 100 years ago, he might get it. You know, not now. He's not going to get it now. There's no way. Rand Paul's not getting in. Nobody's getting in that has any morals. And uh, I said this before. Uh, that there are scriptures in Revelation 13 talking about the continuation of the Antichrist for f 42 months. That could well be a reference to the end of Obama's second term uh, at the end of 2016, continued on for 42 months, three and a half years. Yeah, so uh, I'm not saying it is, but it could reference that. It could be a pointer to that. Time will tell. You know, sometimes you find pieces of the puzzle and you go, Matt, where does this piece fit? <laughs> wow, this sure looks like it could fit right there. And, and, you know, whoa. <laughs> and I'm saying, when you when you look at Revelation 13, let me skip there for a second. 
I love technology. Yeah! Revelation 13, 5, and there was given unto uh, Obama a, a mouth. Oh, Lord, a, a mouth. Yeah, that's one thing he has. He's got a mouth on him, doesn't he? There was given unto the Antichrist a mouth, speaking cr great things of pride, right? And blasphemies, crazy things against the Bible, God, Jesus. And power was given unto Obama to continue 42 months. Whoa! I mean, that could be, I mean, that could be the key right there. We'll see. The rapture hasn't happened yet, and we come to 2016, the end of 2016. It wouldn't surprise me one little bit that something happens, things happen, and, and, and the rest of this year and next year that caused Obama to be given a continuation of 42 months, three and a half years, over as a U.S. president. Yeah, something, you know, some change the law, some... Uh, cataclysmic events, whatever. It could even be the rapture. The, 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 the next rapture could actually be the, 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 the uh, point, the, the, the cause of Obama getting 42 more months. I mean, yes, just think about having millions of people disappear out of the U.S. and different parts of the world. Uh, that would probably give uh, everybody left in the USA the yes, the vote to say, or the government would just say, we're going to do this. In light of the situations of all these people disappearing, we're going to give Obama 42 more months. Oh, yeah. And everybody's going to go, yeah, because they're scared of their minds. And who knows? Everything could be on, well, everything is teetering on the edge right now. So you put all this together, and then, you know, in months to come, or whenever the next rapture happens, hello. You know, I was watching yesterday, I was uh, doing sit ups. <laughs> And I was watching the old, uh, well, Tom Cruise was in it. It's the movie called War of the Worlds. Oh, is that not a good movie? It's very interesting. I mean, is it, is it the Bible? No. But you know what's interesting about that? The aliens were shooting the people with their lasers, and the people were dis disintegrating, and their clothes were left. It kind of reminded me of a, a possible excuse that the Antichrist system will give in the near future uh, about, the, about the next rapture. Because I thought that was kind of weird, because the, the, in the War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise as the main character there, Ray, whatever, anyway, the aliens were shooting humans, and I, it was kind of weird because their clothes were being left behind. Oh, ho, ho! is that not mind conditioning for the next rapture? Yeah, because every time, you know, uh, you see end time prophetic movies about the rapture, their clothes are left. I thought, you know, huh. Is that mine preparations for the New World Order media? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, definitely. I don't know if our clothes are going to be left here or not. You know, uh, why wouldn't God just take us all and then just disintegrate the clothes as we go? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, people are, I guess people are guessing. I don't know if I've ever found a, a, a Bible scripture that says, Thou closest, thou clothes will be left behindest. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> But <laughs> it's definitely excuses that the, the, listen, the New World Order, the Vatican, Obama, the U.S. government, the governments around the world are going to have to have an excuse when the next rapture happens. When Elijah took off in his chariot, what do you think uh, the government said? All right. There is a God fall down and worship Jesus? Of, of course not. They had to come up with some excuse. Elijah, you know. Elijah was a chicken. He went and killed himself, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. All right. Yeah. <laughs> his body had never been found in, re in reality who knew how Elijah left there wasn't a lot of people that knew, it's recorded in the Bible the prophets of that time knew, they saw Elisha knew maybe some kid in the field, some places you know, it's going to it's going to be the same way and when Jesus was raptured 2,000 years ago, Jesus was raptured and you know, not everybody saw Jesus being taken to heaven he had his witnesses, all right, that were there, appointed to see. But not everybody saw. Most of the world didn't see Jesus being taken to heaven. If you think any event should have had the whole world see something, it should have been Jesus has taken, been, been taken to heaven. And don't forget, he spent 40 days uh, on the earth, right? No, well, was, let me see. Yeah, 40 days and, and 40 nights after Jesus rose from the dead, he spent 40 more days on the earth talking about you know, the Bible and the kingdom of Jesus and the kingdom of heaven, yeah. 
And 40 days later, he was he was resurrected. I mean, well, he, he was, I say he was resurrected. He came up from the grave, spent 40 days preaching, and then left, was, uh, ascended. He was uh, raptured to heaven, spirit, soul, and body. I call it resurrected, too, because that's kind of a resurrection. He was resurrected, and then he was resurrected again. Well, I mean, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about coming alive from the ground. Okay. Or, or, or coming up. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll use the word rapture. All right. Transported. But it, you think if, if, the, if there's ever, if, if there ever was an event that the whole world needed to see or sh humanly thinking, shouldn't it have been Jesus' uh, uh, transport, transportation rapture from the earth to heaven? Oh, how many people saw that? Not that many. Why? That's how God does it. So when the next rapture happens, hello, not everybody's going to see it, but people have to come up with an idea. People are going to have to come up with a, a, an excuse. The government's going to say, hey, war of the worlds, alien, planet X, whatever. And people are going to believe it. Oh, yeah, I saw that in the movie. It's coming to pass. Ooh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, so Donald Trump has got a hit put on him by the Vatican. I'm going to read. I'm going to, I think I'm going to read from this this chapter here, uh, uh, from Revelation chapter 18. Let me just say, I have people in the chat room right here. Danuta's in the house. Matthew's in the house. Lauren's in the house. Hey, uh, Lauren's talking about the stock market crashing this month and the Texas uh, gold back backed bank. Did they get? Did, did, hey, Lauren, did, did Texas finally get their gold back? I heard there was a delay. I'm telling you, they're not too, the New World Order is not happy with Texas. That's why Texas is listed as one of the uh, uh, enemies of the state in the new Jade Helm 15 uh, military drills. Yeah, as an enemy area. <laughs> well, they know. They know those Texans are going to bow. We're not going to bow. And I'm telling you, in Southern California here, I'm telling you, the, the reason that God put me here was to keep the battle line. Hold the line. I'm holding the line here in the name of Jesus. The Texans are holding it, and you're holding it wherever you are. I tell you, God puts people strategically in, in, in areas uh, to hold the line, meaning uh, keep the forces of darkness at bay. Every place the soles of your feet shall tread upon, God's given to you. All right, yeah. Uh, and that no evil shall come near you. So wherever you are, it's very important that God strategically places his born-again, spirit-filled people on the earth in different locations. Knowing uh, in these last days how the hordes of hell will be marching against uh, cities and towns and states and regions of the world. Hey, you can't trespass here, suckers! Oh yeah, no, I love it! <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Danuta says uh, uh, a separation is going on right now. The uh, sheep and the goats. Yeah. The butthead. That's what sheep do. Yeah, sheep. <laughs> Ever see sheep trying to butt everybody? <laughs> oh, sheep, you know. Uh, I mean, did I say sheep? I meant goats. They're kind of related, aren't they? Yeah. You know, uh, and they're kind of, uh, but you know, a goat kind of eats everything. Yeah, so, and this is what happens with, uh, uh, if, if, if uh, Christians aren't, aren't careful, uh, they'll turn into goats. Uh, the sheep will turn into goats because you, you're not supposed to eat everything. Everything that they talk about, you don't eat everything. I don't eat, what? Yuck, when they, they, I, was, I, I escaped from the prisoner of war camp, uh, the Roman Catholic Church, they gave me all this to eat, I wouldn't eat it. Pfft. I'm a sheep, I'm not a goat, I'm not going to eat all that tin can junk you're giving me. All right, yeah, but that's what happens. People, they just start eating everything. You know, the Christians start eating everything. They don't have discernment. They just swallow everything down and they just say, well, yeah, the Bible says that, you know, man can marry man. Didn't you know that? What? You're a goat now. You used to be a sheep. Now you're a goat. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I love all people, uh, but I'm not going to agree with every people when they have anti-biblical stances. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, you can kill your children. They tell you, you know, you up to five years. They're not human. That's not my. That's that. My Bible says that. No, that's a. That's a. Uh, God formed you in your mother's womb. You're a. You're a human in your mother's womb. I can eat all those tin can and all that crap. No, I'm not a goat. I'm not eating everything you tell me to do. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat 
the grass. <laughs> I'm going to eat what Jesus is my shepherd gives me to eat. <laughs> he leads me beside the still waters. <laughs> I'm not going to believe what Obama says. All right. But yeah, but so many Christians are just eating like it. And now they change from uh, sheep to goats. <laughs> And God's going to separate the sheep from the goats on the left hand. Goat people. <laughs> no, you ate everything. Knuckleheads. Oh, okay, anyways. <laughs> Diane's in the house. Matthew's in the house. And Lauren. Did I say Russ? Hey, Russ. Oh, that's good. Woo, love it. Just scrolling down here. You got the best people on the planet here. One of these days we're going to meet each other in the air. Hello. <laughs> Good to meet you, Matthew. Good to meet you, Diane. Hey, Danuta, what's going on? And how are you? <laughs> and we are going to have our glorified bodies, too. Love it! I don't have to do sit-ups anymore. Claudia's in the house. Hey, Claudia. I'm telling you, every, we're getting really, 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 really super close. I always... Shirley's in the house. Hey, Hello. <laughs> I always knew. I mean, I knew. Brandon's in the house. Hey, Brandon. Uh, scrolling down here. A um, million miles a second. Gosh, whoa, yeah. Anyways, uh, I read your comments here. Even if I don't see you right here, come, I'm going, Bonnie's in the house. Uh, then I will read it after the show here. And if you really, if, if, you, if, if you ever give me a question that I, I never see, just, just hit me up on Facebook. Or Twitter. Or go to my uh, 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 my, my page, DarylLawsonLive.com. And there's my Gmail right there. You can just type it right in there. Send it to me. It comes right to my phone. Hello. <laughs> Unless I'm sleeping or I'm in the bath or I'm running or whatever. I'll see it immediately. <laughs> so I love to, to live. Rhonda's in the house. Hey, hey, hey. That's a pretty name. Uh, Tafoya. I love that. That's, I love, that's a beautiful name. Sean's in the house. Hey, Sean. Oh, I love it. Frank, how you doing, Frank? People, uh, the sun shines and God reigns. I love that, Rhonda. You are right. All right, let's quickly, um, I just want to look at uh, speed through Revelation chapter uh, 18 quickly. Because, uh, well, just like I gave you that scripture, Revelation 18.24, you can see, uh, if you see these scriptures before your face and you understand them, you understand what's going on. You understand what the U.S. president's doing. You understand what the Pope's doing. The Pope's coming uh, this September to the USA. You understand what's going on. And then uh, uh, events, you can pray uh, more effectively. Let's just pray for Donald Trump. Lord, you know what's going on. I don't know Donald Trump's life. I don't know if he's born again. Uh, spiritual, I don't know. I mean... Who am I to judge? I don't know. I, anyways, we just pray for Donald Trump. Uh, as we pray for everybody in the U.S. and around the world, we just pray for the people. Protect them from the, from the weirdness, the demonic attacks of the New World Order. Protect people. Well, first of all, let, don't let them go to hell, all right? And then protect them. We ask for your help, Lord, in these last days. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Expose the wicked works of darkness. Thank you for it, Lord. Do, it up, do, do whatever else you want to do. <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen. Revelation 18, 1. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. See, that's what you need, man. You need angels with great power. Have you ever seen angels before? Oh, yeah, I've seen angels. Now, there's good angels and there's bad angels. For every bad angel, there's two good ones. Do you know that? Yeah, from the book of Revelation. Yeah. Gerald, what are you eating? I'm eating my organic energy... Gummy Bears Organic Energy Chews are great. Instead of having coffee, I never drink coffee. I, I eat these. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having great power. Yeah, so the book of Revelation says for every... Uh, uh, well, we know this one-third of the angels fell. So if, we were, if we're good at math, <laughs> do we pass kindergarten or grade five or whatever? So if one-third of the angels fell... Fallen doofus, doofus angel, uh, the, the, the goofball Lucifer, now we know him as Satan and the devil. Well, one third fell, so that means we know two thirds didn't. So for every bad angel, there's two good ones. Oh yeah, Boomba, oh yeah. And I think there, I think there's a hundred trillion good angels, to be honest with you. I think there was a hundred and fifty, 
There used to be 150 trillion angels, and then 50 trillion fell. Yeah, it's still 100 trillion good. 100 trillion? Ho, ho! <laughs> it's, it's in the book of Revelation. Anyways, yeah, if I do my math correctly. But nevertheless, if, uh, you know, if my math, you know, there's, there's, there's references to how many angels there are. But nevertheless, we know that one third fell from the book of Revelation. So whether it's 100 trillion or 100 gazillion, all right, there's always two good angels for every bad angel. All right, so just know that. So they're outnumbered. Okay, Revelation 18, 1, after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Yeah, because, I mean, they got the Holy Ghost. They got, angels have the Holy Ghost. Hello? Think about it. Speaking about that movie called Humans, all about robots uh, being put into society, it's kind of like, uh, 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 what was that Will Smith? Was that called iRobot or what was it called? Robot or whatever. Uh, you know, uh, and there's been how many movies about robots uh, coming into the planet? Anyways, and so with the new Terminator movie, it's just kind of uh, interesting. I just started to think about how unique, no matter how human-like computers are, um, computers robots are, the magnificent creation of humans and angels. Angels are fascinating. Because the, even though angels don't have human bodies, they have spirit bodies. Spirit bodies can still do human things, like pick up cups, <laughs> eat. Yeah, do you know angels can eat? Yeah, in the Bible they're eating. They're eating with Abraham. Hello. Anyways, uh, why not? Uh, what would you? Why would you not? Why would you not? Allow an angel to have some good food. I mean, it just it's an enjoyment to eat. Okay, I won't get, I won't get into that. Anyways, so but angels are, are so cool because they have these bodies, uh, and they're and they're also they can call God their father. That is so bizarre. Think about that because they're also called the sons of God. Yeah, that's why people get mixed up when they read the scriptures because uh, sons of God can refer to humans and they can also refer refer to angels. Well, you think about it. God's their father. Who, who created them? You know, they're not going to, you know, who's going to be their daddy? Who's your daddy? Michael? <laughs> Gabriel? That's God the Father. Jesus, the Holy Spirit. So we're really close in, in, in creation to angels. But we're at, we're actually a superior being. Well, Boomba. Oh, Boomba. Why, why are we superior to angels? Because if we sin, we can repent and be born again. They can't. So that is like, whoa, the, the new model called humans is so much better than the old model called angels. Yeah. yeah. And then Jesus also said, you know, and referred to angels. He said, you know, we will be like the angels in heaven. He said, you know, are there going to be marrying and giving in marriage? And when in heaven, he goes, no, we're going to be like the uh, angels. Whose wife shall he be? You know, because they're talking about one woman was married to several men. <laughs> he was given a question. And he said, you guys don't really know what's going on, do you? Jesus said. We're going to be like the angels. We're not going to be uh, involved in that marrying stuff anymore and all that. Anyways, and uh, wow. Anyway, so I, I, every time I, I put all the pieces together and I think of the creation of humans and the creation of, of angels, it's, it's, it's fascinating. They have the ability to choose good and evil, just like we do. And they can choose evil and be banished forever. Because once an angel sins, one time, sucks to be them then they're banished forever. They have no ability to have their sins washed away. They're guilty. The wages of sin is death for angels as it is for humans. But their death is banishment from heaven. They can't be born again. Whereas, whoa, booba, when you and I sin, we have the ability to die. They don't. We can be born again through the legal loophole. Watch my video on uh, Avatar. Yeah, Avatar, the secrets of being born again. Watch my video on that. Anyways, the legal loophole is that we have the ability to die and we come into a contract with Jesus and therefore we get out of our, 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 our sin condemnation when we come into a contract, a marriage contract with Jesus. Angels can't do that because they don't have the ability to die. So we get out of our, our condemnation because of uh, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus because we become one. Oh, but they can't do that. Because uh, angels can't die. They can only be banished. But they knew. They knew before they did it, the consequences, and they still did it. They get to see Jesus. They get to see the throne. They get to see the spiritual realm. They get all of this. 
The only re requirement was stay faithful. If you don't, you're banished. And they knew that. And Lucifer uh, fell into sin and rebellion or chose sin and rebellion. He knew it was bye-bye time. Yeah, there was war in heaven and he knew that if he couldn't defeat the good angels, I mean, duh, 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 and God who created them, I mean, seriously, uh, that he would be banished. And guess what his punishment was? Sucker! Uh, I love this. I love the punishment of, of, of the devil. The punishment that Jesus gave to the devil. You know what his punishment was? He could have been banned to where? The galaxy Goober Rooney in, in 100 million light years. Well, no, the devil's banishment, Lucifer's banishment, was to the planet Earth. Sucker! People always ask, well, if God's so loving, why did he put the devil? The devil's punishment was to be to be to be put under the feet of humans in which he really was is so jealous you know the devil really freaked out i believe because he learned that humans would be would would be able to sin and and be able to repent and have their sins washed away and he didn't have that he didn't have that new model he had the old model <laughs> Sucker! Well, it's, it's it, you know, be, to be a good angel is great. But to be a human is better. Swoo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> and he, 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 he just couldn't take it. And he just, ah, he flipped out and, and, and he led a rebellion. And guess what his punishment is? You gotta be put on the earth, in hell, under the feet of humans, so that humans in the name of Jesus, can bind you. In, in my name you shall bind uh, demon spirits and, and evil angels. Yeah, Jesus said. Oh, he hates that. His punishment was to be put and ruled on... I mean, what's the worst punishment he could have? He would have loved, well, loved more to be cast out into another galaxy. No, he was cast out into the earth like a... Me Jesus said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Sucker! Whoa! Boom! Boomba! Yeah. And then Adam and Eve and all humans, I give humans, not the, not the, not the angels, not the fallen angels, I give the humans authority and dominion over them. Sucker! Oh, he couldn't stand that? Oh! And so he's going to, for the last 6,000 years, bring humans into deception so he can rule over them. Try to keep humans in sin and deception. Because if humans get out of sin in the name, the blood, the word of Jesus, whoa, then they can have authority to rule over the fallen angels. Suckers! Love it! Okay, I'm on sidetrack here. I'm running out of time. Here we go. I got that from verse 1. After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Holy Ghost. Yeah, bro. How's it going, bro? Technically, we can call each other, you know. Uh, uh, kind of brothers, you know, kind of uh, step brothers <laughs> from a different mother. I guess they want to have mothers, but <laughs> a brother from a different. No, I guess we have all the same father, right? Okay, you know what I'm saying. Just joking, verse two. But technically, the Bible calls them sons of God as well. And he cried mightily with a strong voice. The angel said, "Babylon the great is fallen." Because if you read the book of Revelation, they they talk about God being there. Uh, 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 Father as well, and their servants as well of the Most High, and uh, etc. etc. I, I, maybe we'll get into a little bit here. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, "Babylon the Great is fallen." That's oh, Babylon the Great is fallen, is fallen, become the habitation of devils. This is the Vatican, habitation of demons. I tell you, and the hold of every foul spirit, every wow. That, that tells me that the Vatican has, has, has inroads on the whole planet. Because if, 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 if the Vatican has hold of every foul spirit, that, that means they have to be in every part of the, of the planet, at seven continents, and in the oceans, etc., etc. Okay. The Vatican has become a cage. That's exactly what it is. I escaped from that cage. Verse 2, I told you. I was a prisoner of war in this cage. At Revelation 18, too. The Roman Catholic Church is a, is, a, is a prisoner of war camp. It's a cage. It says it right here. A, a Vatican is a cage of every unclean and hateful bird or spirit. Sucker, I escaped. Verse 3, for all nations. Does it say all nations or am I, am I blind? Verse 3, all nations. That's why when you talk about Donald Trump, it's, 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 it's scary for him in a way. 
especially if he's not born again spirit-filled, because it says all nations, that means Canada, Mexico, drug cartels, Europe, every nation have, has drunk seven continents of the wine of the wrath of uh, has have been polluted with the Vatican of her fornication, spiritual fornication, physical, whatever as well. And the kings of the earth, the politicians of the world, have committed fornication with her at the Vatican. And the merchants, hello, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald, hello. The merchants, the, the, the businessmen, the corporations, the businesses, the banks of the planet are waxed or become rich through the abundance of the Vatican's wealth or delicacies. That's, I mean, they have unlimited resources. So if you think this is not a battle to, the, to, to death against a Trump by the Vatican, so this is a battle, to, it is. Because they know, look it, they have all the money to, to pay off anybody to do whatever they want. And the only thing that can stop a Jezebel and Ahab, the New World Order, is the power of Jesus through his kingdom. That's it. That's why, you know, I'm talking about Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther, the, re the, 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 the reformer, who was the who split the, the Catholic Church, really. The, the former monk, uh, the founder of the, of the Lutherans, which has now gone mostly to the way of the goats. <laughs> Martin Luther. I'm not talking about King Jr., but the, who is named after, after the reformer. Uh, the ex-monk, I mean, they tried to kill him. They never could get to him. But if you read about Martin Luther, I mean, he was no Jesus, all right? But he was definitely someone who uh, tried to get revelation in the scriptures. He wasn't perfect. There was a lot of things that he, he didn't do perfectly. But he did pray, and the Catholic Church couldn't kill him. They were so angry, they wanted to kill Martin Luther. Oh, they wanted to get him. But they couldn't, suckers! And he, he spent a lot of days in depression. The force of darkness hated him, came against his mind, came against his family. He spent a lot of time in, in, in depression, and uh, but they couldn't kill him. Oh, so, I mean, that's what you have to do. All nations and all merchants, all corporations, uh-oh, the merchants, the corporations, the banks, the governments, the kings, I mean, that's on the Vatican side. Of the earth are, are waxed rich through the abundance of the Vatican. So... You know, the countries that are fighting the Vatican right now, which is what, Russia and China, the gone rogue. You've got the BRIC countries, Brazil, India, South Africa. Uh, there was a trade deal struck today, apparently, with Greece. Uh, uh, I guess struck a deal with the Vatican. For, you know, not good, not good. You're going to be treated like slaves forever. You are now caged, Greece. I feel sorry for Greece more now than ever. You think it's going to be better making a deal with the whore of revelation? You're out of your mind. She's going to prostitute you out to the world. Slaves. Now Greeks are now slaves. Okay, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out. Oh, what? Revelation 18, 4. And I heard another voice from heaven. Not from CNN. Not from Twitter. <laughs> from heaven saying... Come out of her, my people. Whoa! See, people get born again all the time, and they're, and they're in these false religions. And, and, and the Lord says, you've got to come out of there. And they go, no, no, I'm staying in here. I can be a Christian, and I can be a Buddhist, and Hindu, and Muslim, and Catholic, and Mark. No, you can't! Did I just say that? I did. Oh, I love it! Well, you, didn't you just... Because the Vatican runs the governments... Uh, majority of governments on the earth right now, and the governments, uh, 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 and the CIA, and the religions, including the Roman Catholic religion, including the, the, the uh, uh, Muslim, or Islam, Muslim religion, Islam, Mormons, 99.9% uh, .9 of all religions on the earth is run by the Catholic Church. And the Lord says, come out of her, my, my people. And I first got, uh, 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 I, I escaped, all my family members wanted me to go back, go back into the cage. No, and they would go, and, and I would go to weddings or whatever, and I'd be, and they, I'd go back and, and into the into the Catholic environment with their with their weirdness. Even my grandmother that came out of the out of the cage with me at the same time. She was. It was a major battle when all her sisters came. They all said, "What?" 
peck, 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 peck. And she was so, I could just see her, you know, and, and she would even, you know, uh, we'd go back to some of the services because we were visiting relatives or whatever and Catholic services and, and, I, and they, I, I'd go sit there and, they, and the communion time would come up. I said, I ain't going eating that. I ain't eating that crap. Oh, they were so, what? Ooh, that's of the devil. These guys are of the devil. Oh, my grandmother was even, oh, well, I'm just going to eat it because they're going to you know, kill me. <laughs> Grandma chicken. Later on, she became more bold. But at the beginning, the Bible says, come out of her. Come out of her and all her crappy New World Order stuff. All her New World Order religions, all her New World Order uh, deceptions, uh, corporation, all this mess come out of her, my people. If you don't, you, it says that you don't partake of her sins. So we're talking about, you know, you get born again. The Lord says, hey, leave, get out of there. Now I'm going to convert them and stay and then blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I could be a Hindu Christian. I can be a Buddhist. I can be a Muslim Christian. I can be a, 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 a Roman Catholic Christian. Come out of her. That you don't partake of her sins. Uh-oh. You, you became a sheep of God. You were a lost sheep. Then you got to be a found sheep. <laughs> and now you become a goat. Because <laughs> you, you stay in there. You, you get contaminated. You be partakers of her sins. That you don't come out of her. That you did I did I say or did Jesus say this? Wrote Revelation eighteen four. Come out of her, my people. That you don't partake of her sins. So if you stay in the Catholic Church's religions, you stay in the Roman Catholic Church, the Mormons, and all that, then you're you're partaking of their sins. Well, no, I'm not. Jesus said you are. And then you're going to receive of her plagues. Uh oh. Plagues, P-L-A-G-U-E-S, plagues. <laughs> not plaques that you get on your teeth. <laughs> that you receive not of her plagues. If you don't come out of the Roman Catholic cult churches and the church and all her other religions, you're going to be left behind in the, in, the, in, in, in the Great Tribulation period. And you're going to get your butt kicked. And you may even, if you don't repent and get right, you're going to go to hell. Whoa! Come out of her, my people. Uh-oh, you, you were a sheep, you were lost, and you were found, and now you're a goat. That you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Plagues? Uh-oh. One of the plagues is hell. For her sins, the Vatican sins have reached to heaven. Well, amen to that, I know that. And God has remembered her, the Vatican's iniquities, her wickedness. Oh, and then it says, he reward her, even as she rewarded you, double unto her, double according to her works. Uh-oh. In the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Uh-oh. She's in trouble. Verse 7. How much has the Vatican glorified herself? And she has the audacity to walk around and tell people of re redistribution of wealth? You lying creep. How much has she glorified herself? Not Jesus. It's all about glorifying themselves. I love how the Bible talks about how she lives deliciously. What, what a word, deliciously. But so much torment and sorrow give her and her people. For she said, the Vatican says in her heart, I'm a queen, baby. I sit as a queen. Yikes. I'm no widow. I shall not see sorrow. Revelation 18, 8. Therefore her plagues, plagues, plural, shall come in one day. Uh-oh. Death, mourning, famine, sucker! She shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord of God who judges her. Yikes. Now, what does this totally mean? How she's going to be destroyed? I, hey, when it happens, we'll totally know, right? Somehow, she is going to get her butt destroyed. And, uh, and, but don't forget that the, the Antichrist and the false prophet, the Pope... And Obama will be preserved till the Battle of Armageddon. But it looks like the, the empire of the Vatican will be uh, smashed prior to this. Now this, you know, has a whole bunch of different references and we can go on different trails. We'll just leave it like it is right here. And we'll just say, yes. <laughs>
And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication is the governments. This is the UK, the British Empire, Obama. See, Obama is, is a British citizen. Yeah, the kings of the earth. Obama's a king. That's why he acts so arrogant, and that's why he bypassed the Constitution. Hello, the kings of the earth have committed fornication and lived deliciously with the Vatican. She'll bewail her and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning. Now, it all I, I always think that it also could be referencing a possible uh, destruction of the Vatican of itself to in order to push a headquarters into Jerusalem, the Vatican uh, there in Rome. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Uh, but we know people are freaking out about it. And that city is blown up. They may bring, bring a false flag event against themselves, to be honest with you. The smoke of her burning. Whoa, verse 18, 9. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment. It could be nuclear. Yeah. Now, oh, and they could blame it on ISIS. Who knows? Alas, alas, that great, that great city, Babylon, the Vatican, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Woo. Now, don't forget, God brings judgment uh, to the planet in different ways. All right, so judgment comes upon cities and countries and nations and armies and, and empires different ways. All right, yeah. We'll see. Verse 11, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buys the merchandise anymore. Uh-oh. Talk about economic collapse. Hello. The merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, pearls, fine linen, purple, silk, scarlet. I mean, this is this is this is the companies that the Vatican runs around the world. Ivory, precious wood, brass, iron, marble, cinnamon, ornaments. I mean, the, the Vatican has its corporations around the world. They're the biggest corporation and running of corporations around the world. Frankincense, wine, oil, fine flour, wheat, beasts, sheep, horses, chariots, cars, slaves. Yeah, I, I, yeah, there you go. You know, who was behind, everybody, you know, is crying about, ah, the Confederate flag. I'm not. Who was behind slavery? Hello? All right, so before you point fingers at a black person or a white person or whatever person, point your finger at the Vatican. It says here that the Vatican is, is behind slavery. Right there. Yes? Yes, verse 13, Revelation 18, 13. And slaves. So the problem of slavery, not just in the USA, but around the world, uh, can be put at the door of the Vatican. It says it right there. Hello? If you want to blame somebody, don't blame a flag. Blame the Vatican for slave slavery. In the USA, in Europe, in Africa, around the world. Blame them! The souls of men. Ho, 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 ho. All right. And, then, and it goes down here. <laughs> they shall stand. Verse 15, they shall stand afar off. That's probably good because it got nuked. Boop, boy, or, or something else, but could be nuked, yeah. Uh, and the fact that, that, that the Pope and Obama will be at the Battle of Armageddon proves that the Pope survives... You know, the city being blown up one way or another. Doesn't it? Yes, he does. So, figure that one out. In one hour. It always says one hour. Now, don't forget that the one hour also is a reference to the Great Tribulation period, too. So, you put it all together. They want to depopulate the earth. They want to nuke cities. Put us all together. Ships are standing far off from uh, the Vatican. Oh, so maybe she got... Yeah, well, she obviously got... She got Nukes, because at verse 18, the smoke of her burning. Now, it could be a, you know, it could be a meteor from heaven. It could be a, a, vol a volcano that God causes to erupt on them. Whatever. It always talks about one hour. Revelation 18, 9. For in one hour, she's made desolate. Kind of sounds like a nuke to me, but, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah were sort of nuked, but it, they didn't have nukes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Rejoice over her, verse 20. Uh, heaven and you holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. Yeah, because she's been killing people for a long time. Then verse 23, and then we'll continue this tomorrow. The light, uh, so uh, hey, this is all, this, I got, this is really got this from, uh, reminded about uh, this by reading the stories of Donald Trump. 
and how the Vatican is definitely 100% put a hit out on Donald Trump. We'll see what happens. The light of 1823, Revelation 1823, the light of the candle shall no more shine at all. You. I mean, who's, not, who's known for candles the most around the world? I mean, hello. And the voice of the groom and the bride shall be heard no more at you. That means like the Vatican, St. Peter's Square. Bye-bye for the merchants who were great men of the earth. For by, Now listen, listen to this. Revelation 18.23b. For by your sorceries were the nations deceived. Now this is definite, definite, definite reference to witchcraft. That's why the Pope and Obama fit perfectly together. Because Obama is a warlock. He's been trained in witchcraft. And so has the Pope in sorcery. But it even go, it's even deeper than that because if you look at the Greek, it talks about, uh, for by thy sorceries were all nations. Does it say all nations or am I just blind? I'm not blind. All nations. So, hello, Mexico. Hello. If you, if you want to be true to Mexico, tell them they, they have been deceived by sorceries by the Vatican. Same with Canada, same with the U.S., and the nation, all nations. Now, don't forget another part of the deception. For by the Vatican sorceries, or by the Vatican's pharmakeia, kaya, which is medication, drugs. Are we talking about Donald Trump and the drug lord? Hello? Revelation 18, 23. For by the Vatican's sorceries, or the Greek word pharmakeia, pharmacy, Medications, drugs, cocaine, crack. Are all the nations deceived? Suckers! Are, are we not talking about the drug lord and, and, and the Vatican and Donald Trump? Yeah, well, doesn't that what it says? Right, doesn't that say right here? For by thy Vatican sorceries, witchcraft, of course, Satanism, uh, uh, Luciferian worship, Illuminati crap, all that. Devil worship, yeah. But, in, all including that on top of that pharmacia medication buy your medic buy your tainted vaccinations buy your uh, 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 psychotropic chemtrail spraying is that not what it says and of course buy your cocaine and your heroin and your crack and everything else and your big pharma people hooked on medication and buy your sorceries Buy your medications, buy your cancers and your Ebola and everything else you lose on the earth. Are all nations deceived? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's right there in Revelation 18, is it not? <laughs> Let's pray. Father, <laughs> thank you for Revelation 18. It is amazing. I love it. We can see it, and we can we can we can see what uh, what's actually happening. We can see how Donald Trump, Lord have mercy on that guy, how that he's uh, in in trouble, and they're behind ISIS. It says right here in Revelation twenty four, they're behind the chemtrails, they're behind the slavery. Hello, hello, they're behind the sorceries, they're behind the drug lords, they're behind getting that guy out of prison, they're behind they're behind the hits uh, uh, and assassinations. They're behind people getting murdered and the, they're behind the wars. They're behind the CIA. They're behind the spying. Lord, give them double. <laughs> Let their judgment come, Lord. <laughs> Thank you. By your spirit, in Jesus' name, amen. I love this powerful stuff. Whoa, love it. Anyways, I'm here Monday through Friday. We'll continue this tomorrow. We have all week. <laughs> it's Monday. Happy Monday. Near Monday through Friday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. All on DarylLawsonLive.com. I love you. I'm praying for you. Spread this, I'm telling you, and keep praying. You are the, you are holding the line uh, wherever you are, by your prayers and by your stand. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose from heaven. So keep the angels around you. Keep the angels in your communities, in your areas. By your prayers, by your staying in the blood, by your staying, uh, uh, getting born again, getting spirit-filled, staying born again, staying spirit-filled. Don't become a goat. If you become a goat, you break the line. You don't hold the, hold the line, baby. <laughs> All right, Daryl, I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.